What did Jesus say about blasphemy? Bible Nuggets Jesus' teachings on blasphemy, particularly the blasphemy against the Holy Spirit, are pivotal in understanding Christian doctrine on sin and forgiveness. Here are relevant verses. 1. Mark 3 28-29, ESV, Truly, I say to you, all sins will be forgiven the children of man, and whatever blasphemies they utter, but whoever blasphemes against the Holy Spirit never has forgiveness, but is guilty of an eternal sin. 2. Matthew 12 31-32, ESV, Therefore I tell you, every sin and blasphemy will be forgiven people, but the blasphemy against the Spirit will not be forgiven. And whoever speaks a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven, but whoever speaks against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven, either in this age or in the age to come. 3. Luke 12 10, ESV, And everyone who speaks a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven, but the one who blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven. From these verses, three key takeaways can be drawn regarding blasphemy and Jesus' teachings. 1. The gravity of blaspheming the Holy Spirit. Jesus distinguishes blasphemy against the Holy Spirit from all other forms of sin and blasphemy. While blasphemy against the Son of Man, Jesus himself, can be forgiven, blasphemy against the Holy Spirit is deemed unforgivable. This highlights the severe nature of this specific act of blasphemy within Christian theology. 2. The nature of forgiveness. Jesus' teachings affirm the broad scope of God's forgiveness, emphasizing that all manner of sins and blasphemies can be forgiven. This underscores the fundamental Christian principle of grace and the availability of forgiveness to those who repent. The exception of blasphemy against the Holy Spirit serves as a stark reminder of the importance of respecting the work and presence of the Holy Spirit. 3. The importance of the Holy Spirit. The emphasis on blasphemy against the Holy Spirit as an unforgivable sin underscores the Holy Spirit's pivotal role in Christian faith. It highlights the belief that the Holy Spirit is instrumental in the process of salvation and sanctification. Rejecting the Holy Spirit is seen as rejecting God's means of drawing individuals to Himself and sustaining them in faith. These teachings of Jesus convey deep theological truths about the nature of sin, forgiveness, and the distinct roles within the Trinity, especially emphasizing the Holy Spirit's critical role in Christian life and faith. Great Gains Father, Grandfather, Minister, Missionary, Deacon, Elder, Author, Digital Missionary, Foster Parents, Welcome to our family https colon slash slash jesusleadershiptraining.com slash about a slash.